I decided to find out how long Russian President Vladimir Putin has been in power, and honestly, I was quite shocked. It turns out that he has been ruling Russia for 22 years. That's almost a quarter of a century. Let's see how the world has changed in that time. So Putin became president at the beginning of the year 2000. That's still a year before September 11th, 2001. In the United States, Bill Clinton was president at that time. In the UK, the prime minister was Tony Blair. Jacques Chirac was the president of France at the time. And the German chancellor was Gerard Schroeder. Since then, there have been four more presidents in the United States. In the United Kingdom, there have been four more prime ministers. France has changed three presidents, and even Germany has changed two chancellors. There have been many historic events and twists and turns in the world. We invented the iPhone, Facebook, YouTube, and WhatsApp. In short, the world has changed beyond recognition. And in Russia, Putin has been at the pinnacle of power all this time. An entire generation of Russians grew up under his rule. It is interesting that most of the soldiers in the Russian army who are fighting now in Ukraine were born under Putin and are dying under Putin. In fact, Putin has raised himself with the help of propaganda, an army of admirers who are willing to die for him in war in a foreign country. Yes, there was one moment in time when Putin ceded the presidency to Dmitry Medvedev, but even then, he remained prime minister, that is, the right-hand man in the country. In fact, Medvedev was merely Putin's puppet. Putin continued to run the country single-handedly and personally took all major decisions upon himself. In 2012, he reclaimed the presidency and increased the term of his presidency from five to seven years. And in 2019, he is re-elected again for a new term and amends the Russian constitution, thanks to which he can now be in power for the rest of his life. Obviously, Putin wants to stay in power as long as possible, and he does whatever it takes to do so. Earlier, back in 2003, when asked about a third presidential term, Putin said, I have a negative attitude towards this. Then in 2008, he publicly stated, I have never been tempted to stay on for a third term. From my first day as president of Russia, I decided for myself that I would not violate the Constitution. And he really didn't violate the Constitution. He changed it. And now, under the new Constitution, he can remain president of Russia for life. In fact, he has become a full-fledged dictator. But is this a problem? I have come to the unequivocal conclusion that it is a big problem. But not only for Russia, but for the whole world. The world has changed so much in these 22 years that in many ways, Putin does not even understand what the modern world lives on. He is torpedoed by reality. Putin doesn't use gadgets or have social media accounts. He gets his information only from his personal intelligence sources and leads a largely isolated life. His decision to go to war against Ukraine was largely due to incorrect information from his intelligence services and the intelligence services told him not the truth, but what he wanted to hear. This shows that the entire vertical of power that Putin has built is rotten and obsolete, and this will only increase the number of wrong decisions. Vladimir Putin has managed to concentrate almost all the power in his hands. There is no one in Russia who can oppose him. He surrounded himself with weak people who cannot challenge him and push him out of the presidential seat. Yeah. The parliament, judges, and governors must do the will of Putin without opposition, or they will be replaced by more obedient ones. All television and the press broadcasts only when he wants, and those media outlets that have a different position are persecuted and shut down. But the worst thing is that Putin has become a hostage to his power, especially now that he has started a war in Ukraine. Staying in power means staying alive. A dictator who has nuclear weapons capable of destroying the entire globe is a new phenomenon that mankind has never seen before. And if Putin alone makes all the decisions in Russia, there is probably no one who can prevent Putin from using nuclear weapons the moment he decides to. And he has been preparing for it. For more than 10 years, he has been building a huge fortified bunker in the mountains and the Urals. In his opinion, this bunker is capable of withstanding a retaliatory nuclear strike. It contains everything necessary for a comfortable life for several years ahead. 
So, I made a clear conclusion from all of this. Putin must not stay in power because he is an existential threat to our world. And the world's political leaders must find a way to remove him safely. Perhaps if Ukraine wins the war against Russia, it will help solve this problem. Well, if you found this interesting and would like to receive more similar videos, then subscribe to the channel.